It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Washington Commanders and the Chicago Bears, next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to one of our favorite spots, Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And for both of these teams that we're going to see, Charles, the future is kind of right now. You know, this is something you only see a handful of times in an NFL season where you've got a rookie quarterback versus a rookie quarterback. And I think a lot of that has to do with the era we're in now. Because our dads... They didn't see rookie quarterbacks go against each other. In fact, it could be two, three years before they even saw the playing field. Nowadays, you get drafted, they expect you to play earlier, and these guys as competitors, they'll take their lumps early, but they'd rather be on the field. Set for football now on a sunny afternoon in the second city. And off we go from Soldier Field. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So the commanders make their way out on offense for the first time here. And it's the rookie, Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick leading the way. And he was the number two overall pick in the draft because he is special. A dual threat athlete at the quarterback position, beats you with his arm and his legs, and runs the ball better than any quarterback since maybe Lamar Jackson came out of Louisville. But with that being said, he's got to be smart about how he runs the football. He puts himself in position to take some big shots. He's got to be on the field and available for him and his team to be successful. And he's got McCaffrey open, complete. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. And they'll try to run the option here. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Back-to-back -back runs, I'd say that encompassed maximum effort from minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. To the air goes Daniels. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. The rookie from LSU leading this offense well. A good throw there leads to a first down. That's a play that may get lost in the grand scheme of things, but one thing's for sure. You certainly don't want to go three and out to start the game. So that's a nice job of finding the right play call and coming up with a first down. They'll run for the first time with Austin Eckler. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 41. Once more, here's Eckler. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. They suspected it. it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Second down and eight. Eckler now between the tackles. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. That's a very nice game there. A confidence-building run. Love the execution up front. And the way you press the hole, absolutely perfect. Running on first down, Eckler. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. No sweat from Montez Sweat that time as he makes that stop look easy. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility 
has him getting upfield and working, but how about his vision to see where the play was going? Crashed down inside and tackled him for a loss. Motion man is Crowder. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Throwing now is Daniels. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 12-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. I'll give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has, and if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. Touchdown! Deami Brown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders are on the board first here this afternoon. That was a really good opening drive on a number of fronts. Ten plays, very methodical, set the tone. So you know right now, if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're on the sideline saying, okay, what do we have to dial up in order to get off the field a lot faster? Because both sides are out there for ten plays, but one side comes off energized, and the other side comes off with some questions. Now Cade York for the extra point. It's good, and Washington will take a 7-0 lead. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And it's Deami Brown who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So the Bears ready to go on offense, and it's the number one overall pick leading him out, the Heisman Trophy winner from USC, Caleb Williams. And we're talking about a young man who proved it at every step along the way, first at Oklahoma. Then at USC, big-time talent, big-time production, and won a Heisman Trophy while playing for the Trojans. Now, the number one overall pick lands in Chicago, and there's an awful lot of talent awaiting him, and now he gets a chance to utilize those weapons. First carry for DeAndre Swift. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Play action. Now Williams. All the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. Dorrance Armstrong. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. A tough spot here, third and 15. Throwing is Williams. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And they will have the football deep in enemy territory all the way at the 10-yard line. Well, that's a down and distance coach has always talked about trying to avoid, isn't it? I mean, that's third and long. And you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him, sometimes even with extra pressure. And he... He knew that. I mean, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. Everyone did, yet the pressure was still there, and he ended up coughing it up. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. 
We have to be thrilled with that first drive that got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Following the fumble recovery, Daniels. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. Now we're going to get a stoppage. It appears to be an injured bear on the field. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Third down and one. It's Eckler again. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They tried their best to pick up that third and one, but their surge wasn't enough to counteract what came back at them from the defensive side, was it? Offensive line, especially in the middle, looked like they were on skates a little bit when that one started. So now we bring up fourth and inches. This would be a critical call. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. They'll run for it with Eckler. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. A one-yard touchdown run from Austin Eckler. And the commander's decision to go for it pays off with six points. An early decision point here, Charles. Maybe one we'll look back on later. They go on fourth and goal, and they punch it in for the touchdown. We always talk about how football is a game of confidence, and that's how you get it right there. Leave your offense out there and tell them I believe in you. And they pay it off with six points. New York now for the extra point. And it's good. And they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So that drive, four plays. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Swift to start the drive. He'll get a yard. That's all as they get him down at the 28. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. They work now on second and nine. Now this is going to be a quarterback draw. Shedding through the defense. And this will be a Bears first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10.
They will run straight ahead with Swift. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game, maybe establish the run? I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Short completion, just four yards, and that will bring up second down. Swift going to try up the middle. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. On play action, here's Williams. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. On fourth down, here's Williams. That is caught. The 20. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A gain of 26 and a conversion there as well on fourth down. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. To the air, Williams. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession as they go to work on a first and goal. to throw Williams touchdown Bears Keenan Allen from three yards out and the Bears are back within a score a nice connection there finding his target and that'll put six up on the board just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines right perfect route a good throw in the defense they had no answer for that right there Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And that one makes it 14 to 7. That time a nine play drive. And it was Keenan Allen who finished it all off with the touchdown reception. This game back with it a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well.
Well, they go play action. Daniels. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. It's Jervon Dexter who got in to drop him. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Here's Daniels. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. When the hitch route is run really well, that jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space, all you want there get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. They'll set up to run the quarterback draw. And this play comes to a halt at the 33, and obviously that's well short of the first down. They'll get a couple of yards on the keeper, but it's going to lead to a fourth down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. And just a net of 31 here, 40-yard punt, nine on the return, and the Bears take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Takes it to about the 37. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones... They have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. He'll get that one to Carter complete. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Williams from the gun on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. And Komet had a solid season a year ago in which he set a new career high in receiving with over 700 yards on the year. A big-bodied weapon who creates a lot of problems for the defense. Working out of the gun, Williams. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. He continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Quick slant caught by Moore. 
They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And that is incomplete. Strong coverage by Washington, and now fourth down. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense, and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Here comes the Bears punter now. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. The commander's offense returning to the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Now Daniels. And his throw is incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. He usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. To throw is Daniels. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 26 and a first down. That's really good play design right there, and it's one that comes down to the offensive line. It's a deep in route, but it's only going to work if that line gives you time in the pocket to wait for the route to develop. Mission accomplished there as they pick up the first down. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Daniels looking to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and nine. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. And that is incomplete. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Looking to throw is Williams. Wide open receiver complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. 
And that's a good throw there for a first down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll wind up getting about six out of that as that's going to lead us to the two-minute warning. From the 38 now, here's a second down and four. To throw, it's Williams. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. The Bears on the move. They've got another first down. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Here's Williams. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Here's second and ten. To throw once more, here's Williams. He's got a man. That's Keenan Allen. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. I'll give him credit there. Nice job on the drag route. Bring the receiver across the field, hoping he can catch it in stride and turn it up. He was able to do just that, although he's just a little bit short of the first down. A yard all they need, but it's third down. They'll look to throw again. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 26. They only needed one yard on third down. They get 10 instead by going to the air. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Now second and five. Now they'll try and set up the quarterback draw here. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Now they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. After that run for a first down, I don't know that confidence could be much higher for an offense. They're doing exactly what they want to do on this drive. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Looking to throw. Williams. Got his man and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Keenan Allen with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bears are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. I feel like I'm back in school. What was that book, you know? It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. This has been a tale of two quarters so far. They trailed 14 to nothing after one. How about the rally we've been watching? Yeah, a couple of touchdowns. PAT here to tie it up. This is a good ball game all of a sudden. Santos now to add the PAT. Now we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So that drive, 80 yards, nine plays. And it was Keenan Allen who finished it all off with the touchdown reception. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. One final possession for the Commanders in this opening half. 
And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Throwing now is Daniels. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To the air goes Daniels. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Working out of the gun, Daniels. This pass complete to McLaurin going across the middle. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. And this a 39-yard attempt. York able to send this one through, and they take a 17-14 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts you really don't want to do that in this case they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game four seconds all that remain here in this first half as the kick gets away and not wanting to risk anything here late in the half he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And with only four seconds on the clock, time likely for just one snap of the football. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that will take us to the end of the first half of play. So we come upon halftime here at Soldier Field with the Bears out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. In the first half, it was the rookie from USC, Caleb Williams, who was looking the part. He lit up the sky with three first half touchdown passes as his guys were rolling in the early part of this football game. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? And he won't quite make it to the 25. 
The Bears offense and Caleb Williams set to go to work once more. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the... Williams loses the football! Second time in this game, Charles, the ball has squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands? Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second in a country mile. Throwing is Williams. He's going to float this one deep right side. And got his man complete. A huge play there for Chicago. 46 yards. It doesn't look like this defense found the magic elixir at halftime. This offense was rolling in the first half, and that's continued here in the third quarter. Another big play right there. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. Two yards that time. A stark contrast from the big chunk on the previous play. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Here's a second and eight. He finds his man complete. That's Carter. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 32-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They're really locked in on offense. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. On play action, here's Williams. Trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Quan Martin. And the Commanders are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. First possession of the second half now for Washington. And their defense did its job, forcing the takeaway there to start the half. And now can the offense follow suit? And you'd better believe that one side of the ball feeds off the work of the other. So they'll want to come out, establish some rhythm, and go down and take the lead. Throwing to start the drive. Daniels looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. 
They'll look to throw now on first down. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that's going to bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Second and nine. Up the middle with Eckler. Yeah, he'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made at about the 32. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here's third and seven. Here's Daniels. Dancing to his left. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And this is picked up by the Bears. Partner, everything that happened before that fumble was great. Good vision, navigated the open field, got good chunk yardage. At that point, if you see a defender coming, up, just step out of bounds. Don't risk all you picked up before the hit to just try and get an extra yard or two. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. Not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Now we're at the 41, second and nine. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try and run here with Swift. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 40 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. On first and ten, it's Swift. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. From the 33, here's second and a yard. To the air, Williams. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. They'll fake the give. Now Williams. He finds his target, Allen. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. Uh, he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and ten here. Here's Swift. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. 
because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Second and goal from inside the five. Swift is going to go backwards. He'll lose. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. They'll look to throw for it with Williams. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bears will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long, and this time, that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around. They're reading coverages early. So now they're like seasoned pros earlier in their career. How about this one here? If they win this ball game, a game ball definitely coming from his head coach. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Well, right now, they're in a bit of a tough spot here, CD. You trail them by double digits. Remember the last time out, they fumbled. They're going to have to play some clean football here on this possession. And all the talk on their sideline has been about taking care of the football, making sure that they're handling the ball correctly. So you know they'll be squeezing the rock pretty tight here. They just have to be careful not to go so hard in doing that that they actually cause themselves other problems. Take care of the ball, but still try and play free and natural. Showing off the quick feet that time and getting forward for a pickup of three yards. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 48 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. It's the Commanders in possession of the football, but they trail as we start this fourth quarter. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year. And part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Now a second and ten. And he's going to take it down to about the 35 here. 
He's able to call his own number for eight that time, but it leaves him with a third down. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down, they hit him with a draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? But you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field and they're only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass them with a running play. A gain of seven and they pick up the first. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Play action. Now it's Daniels. He completes this one to Terry McLaurin. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the one. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. That's uh, a good effort there after the catch. He looked the ball in and then tried to get it to the goal line. What a nice tackle to get him down. But they're set up well now. First and goal at the one. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Austin Eckler, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Commanders have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. They'll look to throw. And this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points. It gets him back within a field goal. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Bears offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets, and it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. And for the defense, this is a spot where you don't want to totally sell out to stop the run, but you do have a pretty good idea of what you're going to see. And that's good work right there to keep them in check on that first down carry. They'll go play action here with Williams. And that's complete to Swift out of the backfield. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Williams from the gun on third down. 
Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. To throw, Williams. That is incomplete. But two good plays on this one, Brandon. The first one at the quarterback because the pressure affected his throw. And I think it forced him to throw away from his designated target. And how about the second bit of pressure downfield? Receiver going up for the pass, helping force that incompletion. Second and ten. They run out of the gun with Swift. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The offense on third down. They've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This is third and eight. Back to throw. Williams. And pass complete to Moore. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Big hook up there. Forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. On the handoff, this is Swift. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down, stay in bounds, keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. Well, a clear running situation. Try to take time off the clock. You ran the previous play. Set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever because they had shown the ability to run the football. So now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit them over the top. From the gun, here's Swift. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Looking to throw is Williams. Open man is Komet, the tight end. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. And they got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Here's a handoff to Swift. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. One more time with Swift. And this time he is in. Yes. DeAndre Swift. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Bears will add to their fourth quarter lead. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. Now the point after try for Santos. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. 
That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Now Washington down by 10, a minute 54 on the clock. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. And that's complete to McCaffrey. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time's going to run off the clock. Here comes second down at five. Daniels looking to throw. That's caught. It's McCaffrey again. Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The two timeouts still remaining, but scoring quickly, a must. It's first and ten. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Throwing now is Daniels. That's to McCaffrey, complete. Now the commander's going to burn the second of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Here's second and a yard. Now Daniels. A quick throw there is incomplete. Now the question is obvious. Do you try to kick the field goal right here knowing that you need two scores? I would be thinking about if I were on that sideline. Get the field goal now, try and get the touchdown later. A big play here as the crowd noise rises. Third and one. Working out of the gun, Daniels. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with a bigger guy to try and use size? Can I go with a, try go with a quicker guy and sometimes even get out quick there? Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. Now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Now first and goal. To throw is Daniels. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. And let's face it, this defense has had its share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. To the air goes Daniels. Buying time to his left. And he's just going to throw this one out of bounds here. Nowhere to go with it incomplete. 
And once he got out of the pocket, you thought that maybe he'd take off with it, especially here in the two-minute drill. Sometimes defenses are focused so much downfield that there's room to run, but this time he decided to throw it unsuccessfully. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Late game situation, things seem to be unraveling just a little bit. And that's when you start forcing the football, mainly out of necessity. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete, nearly picked off. Here we go. The noise deafening. Fourth and goal. Daniel's going to throw for it. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. So it's the Bears who come away with a victory, and it was their quarterback who led the way, Charles. Pretty impressive play for a rookie. Yeah, he really had this offense firing on all cylinders, so let's count up some of the numbers. He went for well over 300 yards in the air, had four touchdown passes, and was clearly prepared for this one and executed the game plan to perfection. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from Soldier Field.